Hey there, this is Tan and in this quick video I will show you how to create an amazing checkout for your online store or sales funnels. So let's get started. Alright, so let's now begin customizing our checkout page. Basically, you can add the checkout widget on any page of your website or your funnel to have a checkout experience. Like in this case, we have a sales funnel with a checkout step and a widget inside, which you can start customizing. Now, if you have an online store, you can edit your checkout by going to System Pages and go to Store Checkout. Now, the page itself can be fully customized. So in this case, we have a header on top, then you have the block with the checkout, and at the bottom, we have nothing. But you can add whatever elements you want to drive conversion. Like in this case, we show the product that we are selling, so it's a bit more friendly, a bit more uh, call to action. Then at the bottom, for example, if you want, you can add something like people that are happy from your service. So you can add like testimonials. Again, a validation of the products that you're selling. So this also helps in driving conversion. And the idea behind, it, behind the checkout is to make it super simple so people can purchase this product. Now, every sales funnel, for example, comes with a checkout by default, which you can customize, but you can also instead of having to use the system one that is, well, the, the one coming with a template. You can also create your own, either from scratch or by using our templates. For example, of the checkout, let's let's uh, show you how you can do that as well. Uh, let's say you want to do an A-B testing to have two different checkouts to see which one is converting better. You can click on A-B test and then you can either duplicate the existing page or create a new one. And here we have great templates, like I said, for checkouts. So if you click on the checkouts, you will see the designs. And here we have different ideas of checkouts with different layouts. For example, this one is focusing a lot on testimonials on the side. So this is very cool if you have, this is important if, if you want to have testimonials. If you want to have a straight checkout uh, like this one, this is a great design. Again, this you can also customize fully. Here is one focusing on the product on the side, so you can have it like this. So just pick the one that feels the most to appealing the most to your users, uh, and you can just add it. And you don't have to design it; it's already created by us. So let's select this one for example for our B version. So now we have this one for version A, and then for version B we have the other checkout where you have to preselect again the product that you are selling. Again, you can customize what kind of an image you have here. Let's say the bottle that we are selling, uh, the title, the countdown, if you want to drive even more action. So these are little tricks that can help you with the conversion rates, like uh, these scarcity elements being uh, on a sale, having some you know very catchy headlines, having some testimonials as well, like we did it in the version A. So you can see which one is converting the most, which one is um, you know, closing more of the people who are landing on it to an actual sale, and what is that amount of sales as well. So all that will be represented here in the checkout, so it's very clear which one is the winner. Now, the checkout itself, it's super customizable. Now you can change and you can just double click and first of all, you can select which products you wanna sell, obviously, if it's um, a single product, um, type of a checkout, just select yes, the product that you want to sell or products that are pre-selected. Pre now, if you have a multi-product multi sales funnel or a store uh, where you have add to cart functionality, select cart checkout. That will take all the um, elements, all the products that are being added into the cart and they will be displayed inside so without pre-selecting what products people would buying. The other thing is the bump offers that you can add, like in this example. So again, some way, somehow to upsell when somebody is making the purchase, if, if they want to purchase another product as well, to add it into the whole checkout experience. You have also the ability, if you have more than one product, to allow customers to choose which product they want to buy, um, well, actually, this is for changing the quality, quantity, but you can allow them to select which of the two uh, products that you pre-selected they would buy. And actually, they can choose multiple products, not just one. So if you want them to be able to buy both, you have this ability to also enable from here. So it's very, very custom. So whatever is the idea of your process, you can set it up from these settings. 
Now, when it comes to styling, there is a lot of options as well. The whole looks of your system, of your checkout can be different. The different layouts, for example, how they look, uh, if you wanted to have the summary at the bottom or on the side, whatever the design you want, plus how many steps to have inside your checkout. So if you want it to be uh, experienced with three steps or with just a single step with all the information on the side, you have this ability to choose which option you want. Now we have the ability to also change the different text, the different styling and colors, etc. from the settings. So feel free to play around and create the design that you want. For example, creating a very big continue button. Changing again what, how the buttons look, how everything feels. You can customize the backgrounds. Let's say the um, the order summary instead of white, we want to make it, let's say, uh, uh, this type of a color, for example, with white text. You have this ability to do it yourself fully with these settings and to create something really amazing for your users. Uh, if you're not happy with the design, you can always click on this card and that will discard all the changes that you just did. Uh, some other cool thing is this, of course, uh, here you have some of the badges, expand the whole checkout into a full width of the screen um, and you have the ability for the settings. In the settings, you actually have a few really cool things such as the ability to allow discounts like this button here, the enter promo code, uh, customers to register because in the system, as you know, you have the ability for users to have accounts. Uh, then you have the ability, if it's a digital or service or membership, to not ask for their shipping information or billing information because you don't really need it. So you can allow uh, disable this option. In this case, it is a physical product, so nothing happens because we require a shipping for that. Uh, but yes, if it is such a product, that will disable it. You can also link to a specific list in your email marketing to tag users and, of course, to customize what kind of fields you'll be asking in the checkout. So if you want to ask additional questions or directly to add more information, such as more fields like whatever you want from the CRM, like file, like a recapture if you want to add, a check checkbox or radio buttons, select options, whatever information you want to ask, you have this ability from the additional fields to add those mm, options into the, into the checkout experience. So this is how simple it is to customize the whole checkout widget itself. And the page, again, you can customize, you can adjust the size of it, the, the colors, the whole experience can be fully custom. And in this case, we created two versions, so you have this ability to have two different versions of your checkouts and see which one is converting the most. This is the power of the sales funnels and the A-B testing and the conversion tracking. So test it out and see which one works the most for you. But yeah, some of the things that work really well, uh, especially with uh, pre-selected products, is some information about the product itself, some scarcity, being on sale, uh, some testimonials, if you have video testimonials, even better. Of course, you can and you should include those things into your landing page to begin with to drive the traffic into your checkout because your checkout usually is not the landing page. It's usually some kind of another page from which people land into your checkout. Uh, of course, you can have the first step to be the checkout itself if that is the uh, actual funnel step of your overall sales funnel, not just the sales funnel in the platform, but uh, the ad, if the ad is just driving people to make a purchase, no need to send them to a landing page. You can send them directly to the checkout page so that there is uh, as minimal friction as possible for a person to make a purchase because they're already prepared. So it really depends on your strategy and who is the person that is coming into your page. But yes, this is super customizable, super easy, and I hope that you enjoy how quick it was to customize your checkout pages with Symvoli. Let me know in the comments below what do you think? Have you created your first checkouts? Have you created a lot of have you started having a lot of sales with the checkouts? And yes, like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for the channel for awesome videos coming every week. Thank you.